In this video, I'm gonna cover how to set up your Akai MPK Mini Mark III to work with Ableton Live. Check it out. What's up, I hope you're doing well today. My name is Matthew Stratton. On this channel, I'll do setup videos, tutorials, and overviews, all to help you create music. If you're new here, consider subscribing. Let's get into this. So the first thing you wanna do is plug your USB cable into your MPK Mini and plug it into your computer. So on the back, there's a USB plug. Plug that in. So once you have that plugged in, go ahead and open up Ableton Live. In this instance, I'm using Ableton Live 10 Lite. Ableton Live should pick up your MIDI controller when you plug it in. And if you want to go ahead and play sounds, go ahead and pull some sounds into your project. I'm just gonna pull in this 808 core kit. Once you have your kit loaded up, you could go ahead and play it with the pads. And if you want to use the keys on the MPK Mini to play an instrument, you could do that as well. To show you an example, I'm going to go to Sounds. I'm going to click right here where it says Pads. I'm going to pull in one of these pads. I'm just going to pull in this Juno pad into a new MIDI track. Once that is loaded, we're going to be able to play our Juno pad with the keys on the MPK Mini. And as you can see, the keys are working fine. Another thing you could do with the MPK Mini Mark III is use these knobs or encoders to go ahead and control parameters within Ableton Live. So if you look at the top of the screen on Ableton Live where it says MIDI, if you click that, you can see a bunch of things on the screen kind of highlight in this blue color. Now, in order to assign this, all you have to do is click the parameter that you want to assign. Once that is clicked, you're gonna see like a little box around the parameter. Then you can go ahead and turn the knob you wanna assign it to. Once you assign that knob, you can see it shows up right up here on the MIDI mappings. Now you can keep doing this with different knobs as well. Once you're done with your MIDI mapping, you can go ahead and click MIDI again and it's gonna close that menu. And at this point, we're gonna have access to go ahead and control the parameters that we did assign. So let's go ahead and play a chord. And as you can see, that knob now affects the cutoff filter for this particular sound. If for some reason this doesn't work for you, go ahead and go to your options and then go to preferences. When you're in preferences, go ahead and go to link MIDI. Under this tab, we have preferences for our MIDI control devices. If you look right down here where it says MIDI ports, you can see it says MPK Mini 3. In order for us to be able to play the keys or the pads on the MPK Mini, we do need to have this on. So where it says track, right here, this button needs to say on. If you have it off, you're not gonna be able to play anything. If you turn it on, you can play the keys and it's gonna trigger things within Ableton Live. If for some reason you're having difficulty with your encoders, make sure that the remote is turned on here. If this is turned off, you're not gonna be able to control anything inside of Ableton Live. If you turn it on, now you're gonna be able to control things again within Ableton Live. Preloaded inside of the Akai MPK Mini, there is a program for Ableton Live. And when you select that program, your encoders are gonna match whatever uh, device that you have selected within Ableton Live. Let me show you how to set that up. Within the MIDI preferences of Ableton Live, you're gonna see an area that says MIDI control surfaces. Now, if you push where it says one and then none, you're gonna get this kind of drop down menu. If you keep going down, eventually you're gonna see MPK Mini MK3. Select that one. When I selected the control surface, Ableton Live automatically set the input and output to the appropriate control surface. But if it did not, all you need to do is go under where it says input, click there, select MPK Mini 3, go to where it says output, click there, select MPK Mini 3. So now we're set up in that regard. And again, you would need to make sure your input is set on track and set on remote. Once you set up your MIDI preferences within Ableton Live, you do need to select the correct program on your MPK Mini. To do this is very simple. All you need to do is press PROG SELECT, which stands for Program Select, and then press Pad 2. 
you'll see it says PGM Ableton Live. Once you have Ableton Live selected, you can let your finger off program select. If you look within Ableton Live, there's a little blue hand that is now on these parameters. So when that blue hand is there, the encoders are going to match whatever's going on in the screen. So if I turn this first encoder here, it's gonna change the cutoff filter. If I turn the second one, it's gonna change the vocoder amount. And if you look down here, this one's gonna change the attack. This is gonna change the release. These parameters are gonna be different depending on what you have selected within Ableton Live, but you're gonna be able to use these same eight encoders to control whatever you do have that hand on within Ableton Live. An example is I'm going to select this 808 core kit. You can see the hand has now moved over to this 808 core kit. So when I do turn this knob, so when I turn K1, it does turn the first parameter on the 808 core kit. If I turn the second knob, it changes the second parameter. If I turn the third, change it to third, you know, and it keeps going, okay? If you're finding value in this video, remember to give it a thumbs up below and consider sharing it with anybody who does want this information. Let's help each other out. The MPK Mini is equipped with an arpeggiator and note repeat. So if you look at the screen here, there's an internal clock to the MPK Mini and right now it is set to 120 BPM. It is possible to sync your MPK Mini with Ableton Live. And in order to do this, you need to go here where it says output MPK Mini 3. It says sync and right now it's turned to off. To turn it on, you need to simply just turn it on there. Once you turn it on within the preferences of Ableton Live, you do need to set it up on your MPK. So in order to do that, you need to press note repeat, and then you need to go ahead and where it says sync, turn the knob, and then it's gonna say external. At this point, the note repeat on the MPK Mini is gonna follow the tempo within Ableton Live. Let me give you an example. So I'm going to close the preferences. Right now, the tempo is at 120 BPM. So if we turn note repeat on, and then press play in Ableton Live. The note repeat is now synced to Ableton Live. Now we can slow it down. So let me give you an example of that. I'm going to decrease the BPM in Ableton Live to half. Now let's listen to it. And you can hear the BPM of that hi-hat did change, but let's go ahead and change the time divisions of the note repeat. So I'm gonna put it on quarter notes. All right, and then I can put it on eighth notes, 16th notes, 30 seconds notes. And you can hear we can get some interesting effects. That's how you set up your MPK Mini within Ableton Live. If you found value in this, remember to give it a thumbs up. If you want more videos about the MPK Mini 3, click or tap the screen there. It's going to take you to a nice playlist about the MPK Mini 3. My name is Matthew. Continue creating music. We'll talk soon.